Hello, my name is Hunter Cornell, and this is my rebuttal video on whether or not stealing a CD in, the, in a store is different from pirating music online. And my argument is that they are different. So I wanted to start by saying that I noticed how you um, you mentioned that in, in the beginning of your argument that um, both stealing a CD in a store and pirating music online, how it negatively affects not only the retailer, and but also the artist. And I want to say that I 100% agree with that, that both negatively impact, especially the artist, because the artist is the person who's mainly trying to sell the music. But I think that pirating music online isn't as bad as stealing a CD in a store. Um, so I wanted to go into your point about how when you steal a CD in a store, not only are, you, are artists losing out on money from the music itself, but they're also losing out on money they paid to create the CD um, and put the music on it and get their product in a store. Um, and I want to say that I agree with that, That and that's one of the main reasons why pirating music online isn't as bad as stealing music in a store, because when when you steal the music in the store, not only are you taking the music, but you're also taking a physical thing that had to be paid for and created. And so overall, it's more of a deficit for um, the people who created the CD. Um, and another thing that I wanted to mention, while this does, the, this isn't meant to say like, whether or not CDs are better to steal or worse to steal than pirating music online. I want to mention that the whenever an item is stolen from a store, it is, um, according to Newsletter Cron, it, uh, the um, retailers have to pay the deficit. So artists are not the one who, have to pay, who lose out on the money if their music is stolen on a CD in a store. And while I don't think it's right for a um, a retailer to have to pay for stolen goods, I think that it's better than an artist because many artists aren't aren't able to afford it like big companies like Walmart are able to. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is that uh, a lot of songs. I noticed how you mentioned that a lot of people they'll get free subscriptions or paid subscriptions for streaming services and i do agree that that is a very good way to counter um people pirating music online because it deters people from doing it because they have an easy way to access all their music but as it currently stands a lot of streaming services don't have most music especially from smaller artists so the people are still inclined to pirate music online and um so until like all music is available on at least some streaming sites i think it's unfair to expect consumers to pay for not only a monthly subscription subscription on a streaming service or even two but also to pay for individual artists music um and that is all thank you